Motorcycles. We love them. We want them. And if you're a fan of them, then they are one of those things in life when you see one, you can't stop thinking of them. From that angelic exhaust note vibrating sweet music to our ears, when you and your mechanical beast become one as you ride off into the shimmering sunset, whatever it is, you're hooked. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you're interested in them too. But, what if you don't have a motorcycle? What if you want to purchase your first motorcycle or want to add another one to your stable? As you probably are aware, there are many motorcycles to choose from. Where do you start? Let's find out. There are three things to consider when buying a motorcycle. First, budget. Oh yeah! How much are you able to spend on a motorcycle? This will determine if you can afford a new motorcycle, a used motorcycle, the year, make, and model of said motorcycles, as well as condition. For an example, let's say you have a small budget of $5,000. Well, with $5,000, you can probably get into the entry-level motorcycles such as the Honda Rebel, the Royal Enfield Meteor, or even an adventure bike like the Royal Enfield Himalayan. If that's not your cup of tea, then consider buying used. For an example, I was able to purchase this 2012 Aprilia Tuano V4 APRC for $5,500. So this bike is 10 years old and new, it was $17,000. I got it with 5,000 miles and it was ahead of its time. It came with multiple ride control modes, road, sport and track, and different features like anti-wheelie control, ABS with IMU, launch control, as well as a quick shifter. So guys, if you're looking for a good used bike, they're out there. The second thing that I like to consider in budget is to save $2,000 from whatever your top range budget number is. So for an example, let's say your budget is $10,000. Well, I like to save at least $2,000 and only spend $8,000 on a motorcycle. Leaving that spare $2,000 allows me money for maintenance, hidden damages, tires, chains, service, the list goes on and on. That $2,000 will allow you to be able to service your motorcycle when needed. If you had spent all of your $10,000 on your motorcycle, well, you would not have that money to be able to spend to get it repaired and your motorcycle would be sitting. For an example, my 2012 Tuono, I purchased it, got it home, and realized that it had a bent front wheel. I missed it when I looked at the motorcycle. With that $2,000, I was able to get my motorcycle front wheel sent out for about $250. I got it repaired and brought back. So saving that money should allow you some wiggle room should an issue arise. So you determined your budget. You know how much money you're able to spend on a motorcycle, but now you got to find it. And that brings us to consideration number two, motorcycle availability. Sometimes the motorcycle that you're interested in is not available in your local area. So sometimes traveling outside of your normal search parameters will allow you to find the motorcycle that you're looking for. It meets your budget and it meets the motorcycle that you really want. Again, I travel eight hours away, one direction, to get my Tuano V4. It was a motorcycle that I wanted, and it was the motorcycle that was available for me to purchase. So, you finalized your budget. You're able to determine how much money you're willing to spend on the motorcycle. 
That was consideration number one. Consideration number two is your motorcycle availability. You did extensive searches. You went outside your normal search parameters and you found the motorcycle you're interested in. Now, it brings up consideration number three, mechanical aptitude. If you're able to work on a motorcycle, then you're gonna be able to save a lot of money. Or if you were fortunate enough to be able to buy a new motorcycle, then you probably still have a warranty. I would highly recommend taking it back to the dealership to make sure you don't void any warranties. However, even if you do buy a motorcycle that is new or used, you should still do a internet search to see if there are any known problems for the motorcycle that you're looking for. Also, you should do an internet search to see how much it may cost to do maintenance repairs or service repairs on your motorcycle. For an example, my 2012 Aprilia Tuono that I keep mentioning that I purchased had 5,000 miles. The next service interval is 6,200 miles for the motorcycle. I only have about 1,000 miles to play with before I have to tear the motorcycle down myself or take it to a dealer to get repaired. That's a lot of things and it can be very expensive. So another thing you should consider when doing an internet search is looking at the vehicle identification number if you were to buy use. This way you can see if the motorcycle has been involved in an accident or if there are any recalls for that motorcycle. By having a mechanical aptitude, you can save a ton of money by doing the basic repairs like oil changes, changing out your tires, or even changing out your own chain or belt, depending on how your motorcycle is driven. Guys, those are three simple things to consider. Will save you a lot of headaches, a lot of time, and keep you riding. So if this video was helpful, please hit the like button. It does make a difference. And please consider subscribing. We love to have you as a part of our Ride Along family. And if you do subscribe, please make sure you hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications for future videos. Until next time, make sure you get out and ride and be safe.